Hello Aries, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on between you and the person on your mind. It's going to be a you versus them. So we're just going to check in with their energy, with your energy and see where this connection is going. So I was shuffling the energies and I kept on getting like someone is really on guard. So that could be you. Uh, you could be even suspicious. Something is really confusing you and you're trying to get to the bottom of it. You're it's like something you don't trust. So it could be because the other person is very defensive and very right on guard that you feel like, hey, are you hiding something from me? Um, so we're just going to see, let's see, we have the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Wands at the bottom of the deck after the whole shuffle. So yeah, let's see what is going on with the other person. Two of Pentacles reversed. Ace of Swords and the Magician. Okay. Someone wants to speak the truth here. I feel like this person has been going in and out of your life. This may have been like for two years and they're, they're, the time has come that they are going to speak the truth about where they see this relationship going. Okay, so definitely here with the Three of Wands, Magician and the Ace of Swords, it's like they're coming to some type of realization. There is some type of breakthrough that they are going to be communicating with you. Uh, they might be waiting for the right moment. I'm, I just keep on getting that for a lot of the signs. So I feel like a lot of people are just kind of like scheming through in life and waiting for the right moment to speak up about a certain situation. We have the reader at the bottom of the deck. So this person is definitely uh, observing you. I mean, it does not have to be that they are like really getting a reading, but they are observing things. They are really reading upon things. Um, reading your energy, your body language, or whatever the case is, in order to gather more information and to find the way to speak some type of truth towards you. So, the fool. Okay, Aries. What's your energy right now towards them? Two of Cups. All right. Definitely feeling a strong soul tie here, nine of pentacles, but you're trying to not get too much into this connection because it could definitely uh, catch you off guard or um, like your concentration might be driving away or something like that. So you're trying to keep yourself at a distance. And I'm sorry, I'm just going to change the lightning. Just hold on. So also the nine of swords wanted to come through. I almost feel like you constantly think like, hey, am I the only one that is feeling this connection? It feels like I'm getting like a crown chakra disconnection from you. Like you, you're allowing a lot of fears and a lot of um, uncertainties to get to you, even though you're not showing it to the other person, but you have a lot of fear here. Ten of Swords, Reverse. You're afraid that this person is going to leave you out in the cold. That they're going to kind of like step over you and walk away. So for some of you, I'm even hearing like you may feel like this person used you as a stepping stone and or as a rebound. I'm, I'm not getting that deep, but as some type of stepping stone. It doesn't have to be a rebound, obviously. But you feel like this person is going to betray you and walk away. Like that's what you fear about this connection. Or you fear that if they have something to say, that is going to be like th the final breakup. So you have a lot of thoughts that are disturbing right now that you may need to shake loose and really get back to your confidence, right? The Nine of Pentacles, Aries is a confident energy, but... You know, obviously we are in a shaky times uh, with, a, with a lot of these retrogrades. So your confidence level could be a little bit shaky right now. And you really need to keep on grounding yourself and not get ahead of yourself when it comes to your own fear. So this is definitely something that you really need to work on and a little bit rely on this connection. Obviously, I don't know what happened here in the past, but here we have the two, we have the lover's card at the bottom of the deck. So again, rely a little bit on on this connection. 
what is their what are their true feelings towards Aries, please? Nice. Wow. Yeah. We have the Ten of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles. So this person is definitely seeing you as a secure person, someone that they can have like a long-term relationship with. This is someone that sees definitely a long-term potential. For some of you, you've been in a relationship with this person for a long time. I uh, just want to put it out there. It could have been that this person has been a little bit like on and off within the uh, relationship considering to break things off this is for only a few of you all right if you've been definitely married or together with this person you may feel like this person has this doubts whether they want to continue with this relationship or not however i just want to be telling you here that this person definitely sees you as someone that is very reliable someone that they can have this long-term relationship with or rebuild if the connection has been a little bit shaky um, but then there is the eight of swords with the temperance card. So it's like a mental balance that they need to provide to themselves. So this person may be mentally a little bit off balance, uh, have some mental issues. <laughs> like, I don't want to say like mental issues, but obviously we all have that mental imbalance sometimes and we stress about things or we don't know how to solve a situation or a problem which could bring us out of balance so i do see that also with the two of pentacles and now with the eight of swords and the temperance card there is definitely a mental disturbance here really not sure if that has to do with you for some of you i am getting this energy with this ten of swords that um Maybe you disconnected for us for a short time from this connection and you acted very single and now you regret something because you feel like, like for some, it's like just maybe one percentage of you, you may have cheated or you have done something that you feel very ashamed about or you're very sorry because you, you hurt this person. I'm not sure if they know it. And if this, if you're cross watching, I mean, you would know, but I, I just get that vibe. Okay, justice wanted to come through, so every action has its consequence. So you may feel like, oh gosh, karma is get, hitting me back. If, like, I'm not judging, but if you did cheat or you did something or you had like this texting communication with someone else going and you feel a little bit like ashamed about it um, you may be fearful that they know it but you're also fearful that karma is hitting you back and that they are um, breaking it up without them even knowing what you did behind them back yeah hmm. anyway that was just for a small percentage of you and obviously the messages could be vice versa uh, let's see how they view you. How does this person view... Oh, shit. I mean, obviously, if this is not your reading, it's not your reading. But they view you as the Seven of Swords, which is someone that is deceptive. And usually the card of liar, cheater, and all of that. Oh, Aries. Six of Swords, the King of Cups reverse. Oh, yo, 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 yo. And the Devil. Oh my God. Like, I cannot even get out of this storyline, even if I wanted to, because the cards are just confirming that this person feels like you. You dragged some type of third party in the situation or something that was toxic or even if it's not like a cheating energy, it could have been that you promised to not do a certain thing and you did it anyway. It could be something simple as like, I'm not going to spend so much money on clothes and you, you took the credit card and you bought some clothes. Like, you know, I'm just saying like, but I do feel like it's a little bit deeper than that and it's not that shallow energy. It's, it's something that you must be aware of that you did something wrong. And we all make mistakes, so do not get all... But it is a little bit on shaky ground or you're, you're walking a little bit on thin ice, Aries, because 
they really see you as someone that is hiding something. And, you, and, and the more that you're hiding something, the more that you distance yourself and you emotionally withdraw and... And with the devil, it's like you're emotionally unavailable. And when you're emotionally want to get unavailable, you might get into some type of addiction to avoid the pain that has been caused. Wow. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So... The message that I said in the beginning might be the case where someone is being suspicious. So how I'm perceiving it now is that someone is um, suspicious about you. Whether that is real or not, it doesn't really matter. It's about the energy. So if maybe you didn't even do something wrong however the way that they see you is like you're hiding some type of um, third party or an addiction or you have a reason to be so emotionally all over the place and detached at, at the same time five of swords so there is definitely a conflict here that is going on um What is the issue here? What Power struggle is what I'm getting. Definitely some type of power struggle. A lack of direct communication is also what the problem is. There is a lot of chaos and conflict. Someone is trying to find... Like someone is trying to control the chaos and conflict, but it's getting out of hand. I don't know what the hell is going on in your relationship here, but. What's their next move? Wow. Oh, they're, they're definitely going to be having a talk with you. I think that they are aware that you're being a little bit, hmm, I, I don't want to say awkward, but you're being very defensive or you're high. Like, I really get this energy as if you act like you're hiding something. I might be completely off, but like, I'm really getting this vibe. And they're not going to let it go until they know the truth. Like... With the justice, they're ready to, I mean, they are ready to compromise and talk about the situation, but neither of you is going to be able to run away from it. Like they want the truth. They're going to speak about it. They want to know why you're being defensive and what you are hiding behind that wall. Cause there is absolutely something that they feel like you are hiding from them. Four of Cups and the and like what they might hear, either with the Four of Cups, okay now, two two scenarios with the Page of Swords and the Four of Cups, either what they're about to hear is really going to upset them or they're not going to be able to get it from you because you're going to reject it, you're going to reject their their need to uh, to know what is going on. Like they're going to be empty-handed after this conversation it's like they're not going to get to the bottom of the truth which sign had this i had i had one specific sign that was really dealing with some type of mm, secret that the other person was trying to dig in and the other person was just not ready so th there might be like an intertwined energy there i'm just not sure if it was scorpio uh, it could be Scorpio or or Libra and we do have Libra here so you may need to check one of these readings if you're dealing with with one of these signs what is going on here self-indulgence self-worth value time to heal shadow work and self-appreciation and healthy choices 
<clears throat> someone here in the connection wants to focus more on themselves rather than on the relationship they want to heal their 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 patterns this could be you you wanting to make more healthy choices for yourself or they may be wanting you to do that. You do have the coffin here. New beginnings, liberation, reborn and transition. Whoa. Backstabbing, hammer and shock. I feel like something happened suddenly here. You have that ten of swords, nine of swords here. So the connection could have ended abruptly in the recent past but it looks like this person really wants to rectify it but you're still in shock and you're still kind of like hiding a lot of things and you are afraid to speak completely the truth because you may fear that this person will feel another backstab it's like maybe you had a pause or a break and something more happened during that break and you're afraid to tell that What is the uh, outcome here for Aries, please? Yeah, Page of Pentacles reversed. Knight of Swords. <clears throat> and the Ace of Cups. I think it is time for you to uh, kind of like rebuild your self-confidence and really... Try to release any toxic past patterns that you've been um, under influence of because the tower to the, to the empress is really saying like it's time for you to put the focus on healthy choices. Uh, I do get the sense that there is going to be still a little bit of drama because someone does not want to take the initiative to to focus on the seriousness of this of this matter i i get that energy it's like a lack of concentration a lack of um initiation energy is going on which brings up a lot of chaos and chaotic energies and i feel like someone here in a connection really wants to talk whereas the other one is just like trying to flight away and does not really is is not really open um I feel like self-love and self-care is very needed around this time. So if you feel like this is your story, I feel like spirit is really saying like, hey, put the focus on you right now. Because it might be harsh for you as well to accept that this person is seeing you as someone that is hiding things maybe you're not hiding anything at all and this person is being paranoid right that could be the case but then again they may they may have a valid reason and i feel like there is a valid reason that you need to address within yourself first before getting into the communication with them because i just wanted to see what your advice is you have the four of pentacles with the three of swords the reading that I am referring to had the exact same um, advice coming out. Exactly. So, yeah, before you get into this communication and conversation, do not hold a grudge. I know that it's going to be painful, but maybe you need to listen to what they have to say. Six of Swords, really releasing a past wound, a past addiction, something that maybe you are very sorry about. This is a betrayal as well. Uh, for others of you, it could be that you've been betrayed in the past as well and you're still clinging on to that and it's time for you to let go or else things will not be able to move forward. Now we do have the Libra Eclipse coming up and that is all about our past toxic um, patterns, relationships, commitments, and things that were very karmic. So these type of energies will be highlighted around this month for people to release it. So this could be an old situation that is resurfacing. 
Maybe you keep on attracting people that just don't trust you. And that the reason is because you don't trust. Seeing things from a higher perspective. I feel like this person is trying to see the positive side of the situation. Like they are um, seeing you as a very creative, loving, passionate creature. <laughs> human being um but they're also watching you to see if you are going to be rising above the situation with this hog they're watching you absolutely and see we have the phoenix rising so eventually i feel like this situation will make you feel like you are hitting rock bottom however you will rise above that and I feel like right now you really need to rely on your self-confidence and work on your self-progress, self-independence, and also your, you know, personally you need to kind of like focus on self-care right now. You don't have to prove anything to anyone if you're not ready. But maybe you have something very valid to say, like a valid point to prove. However, don't let it get the best of you, is what I'm picking up on. I'm really getting Libra Virgo energy here. So some of you are definitely dealing with a Libra Virgo. Maybe someone is being very pushy on you. Let's see if you have any questions for your angels. Be assertive. So there might be definitely something that you need to take action on around this time. Definitely also when it comes to healing, perhaps healing your traumas, healing some type of a past issue um, that keeps on hunting you. And really be assertive in asking help in regards to healing, in regards to, I don't know, whatever you need. Don't try to do all by yourself because I feel like it's getting too much on your plate and a lot of things are going on. This person is going to stay in the background for you. Like they're not moving anywhere. So don't feel afraid to lose them. Just do whatever you can to recover yourself. Okay. And you will get on top of this after this tower, after the storm, you will feel more enlightened and you will feel more... Um, you know, unconditional love, not just uh, for yourself, but also from the people in your surrounding. Like they will know like, wow, you really conquered something huge. You really, you know, overcame a big, um, a big shock in your life. Because I feel like there is a big shock at your, uh, in your case that you're overcoming. This could be a trauma. This could be something that happened that is really calling to, calling for your attention right now. Let's see, I want to just draw one card from the angels because I feel like it's very necessary. Spread your wings. Do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you are ready to roar. So it's time to take action on some type of recovery on a personal level when it comes to your fears. I'm not going to repeat it, but it is a time, is the perfect time to ask for help or to, um, yeah, heal a certain aspect of your life. So that's what I have for you. I still have the September monthlies available on the website. You, you can find the links in the description box below. If this um, resonated for you, make sure to drop a like and hit that um, subscribe button if you haven't been subscribed, subscribed just yet. And I'll catch you guys soon. Ciao.